Graysby GMW 2000P air sampler. Model GMW 2000P, which is a 115 volt 60 cycle unit, and also model GMW 2000PX, which is a 220 volt 50 cycle unit. Except for the voltage, both models are exactly the same. For this video, we will be using the 115 volt system. The tools needed to change brushes and armatures for the GMW 2000P high volume air sampler are as follows. A 5 16 inch nut driver, a 1 quarter inch nut driver, a 9 16 open end wrench, a 6 inch flat blade screwdriver, and a set of Allen wrenches. Caution, remove power from the unit before servicing. The first step, remove the 10 and le or 11 inch centimeter filter holder and turn the unit sideways. To determine if the fan shell has been damaged, rotate the bottom armature nut to see if the fans are moving freely. A metal to metal sound indicates a damaged fan shell. If this fan shell is damaged, the system will need to be returned to Graysby GMW factory in Cincinnati, Ohio for replacement. With the 5 16 nut driver, remove the four acorn nuts from the brush holder caps. Remove the brush holder caps and set aside. This exposes the four brush assembly clips. Remove the four brush holder cap studs with a quarter inch nut driver. Each brush mechanism will fall out attached only by the field wire. Inspect the commutator for excessive wear or burn spots. If the commutator is okay, proceed with brush change. If not, replace the armature. Remove the copper brush assembly clips to release the brush in spring assemblies. Remove the two brush mechanisms, release the field wire from each brush mechanism, and set aside the brush mechanisms. Remove the two screws on the cord connector box. <clears throat> Lift and rotate to expose the internal wires. 
remove the three wire nut connectors that are connected to the motor. Gently pull the motor wires out of the cord connector box. Set the cord connector box aside. Pull to remove the black sleeving from the motor wires and set aside. Turn the unit upside down and insert the correct Allen wrench into the armature shaft. While holding the Allen wrench firmly, use a 9 16 open end wrench to remove the armature hex nut and washer. Turn the unit over again. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the two long field screws. Lift off the commutator end bracket and inspect the bearing sleeve for excessive wear. If worn, replace. This exposes the armature commutator, cooling fan, and bearing assembly. Lift the armature up and out of the motor. Remove the field winding and set aside. The bearing in the fan end bracket must be removed. From the other end of the motor, Carefully insert a long screwdriver to tap out this spent bearing. Stick the long screwdriver down through the middle of the motor to align the internal fans and parts. Set the field winding back onto the motor. Make sure the wires are pointing in the original direction toward the cord connector box. Remove nut from the new armature and install the new armature with new bearings down through the field winding. Do not force but wiggle lightly to align the internal fans and parts. Place and tighten the commutator end bracket with the two long field screws.
Insert new carbon brushes in the brush holders. secure with the four brush assembly clips. Attach field wire to each brush mechanism. Secure brush mechanisms with the four brush holder cap studs. Attach the two brush holder caps with the four acorn nuts. Turn the unit over to reinstall the washer and nut. Caution, the rounded edge side of the washer must be placed against the fan. Tighten securely. the unit back over and replace the black sleeving on the field wires. Insert the field wires back into the cord connector box and wire nut to the power cord switch and fuse holder. 
caution. Make sure the green wire gets wired nutted to the other green wire. The black wires are interchangeable. Attach the cord connection box to the motor bracket. Turn the unit upright and reinstall the 10 or 11 centimeter filter holder. To break in the new armature and brushes, run the motor for one half hour at approximately 50% voltage using a G900 brush miser or Variac. The brush and armature change is now complete. Caution. Be very careful not to drop the sampler. This could damage the fan shell. If the fan shell is damaged, the system will need to be returned to Graysby GMW in Cincinnati, Ohio for replacement.